Okay. Today we are going to try to air root some peach trees. We've always wanted a couple more. And I thought, why not? We'll give it a shot. I went over to the Bulls Garden Show and I watched him do it. And I thought, shoot yeah. Why, why wouldn't I try it on my own tree? Why would I go buy more trees when I can air root maybe one of these? And uh, I'll show you how we're going to do it. All right, here we go. First of all, I'm going to take some of these small ones. And I'm just going to slice them off real quick. Just like that. You can see that. Just like that. I'm going to take my knife. Just going to cut around it. So I'm going to make it about three inches or so. Just enough to score the bark. Like that. I'm going to take my knife and come right down it. Like that. And we're going to see if we can get this bark to peel off here. Oh yeah, look at there. You see that? It didn't come off as smooth, did it? Like that. I think we can do it without shaking around here so much. I just knocked the peach off, didn't I? You guys hear that? Just scrape it. Just scrape it like that. Just like so. And then once we do that, I'll show you the next step. Got these bags of soil right here. And uh, I don't know if there's a precise measurement. That looks good. About like that. Grab some water. Mix it up real good so it stays good and tight. And all this is is potting soil, uh, some mulch, just good compost is what it is. You can see there's some vermiculite in it, but it's pretty much what was left over from some of our seed starch, some of our potatoes, some of everything. So that's all we're gonna do. Mix it up in a bag, water it down with about 16 ounces of water, and I'll show you what's next. Take your knife, and you're gonna fold this bag over like that. And you're gonna see where it's at. I'm just gonna cut a slice in the bag. Like that. Three wire ties. I'm gonna say 12 inch, but uh, I didn't have any, so I made these. I made these long enough, so you just hook them together so they're they're long enough. And back up on the ladder we go. Okay. Where we made that slot in the bag, right there. All we're gonna do, take it. Wrap it around the tree, 
where that slot is. Take our wire tie. And that's why I like this way because you can use that flap and you can cover it all up and that'll hold the soil in. Oh yeah, don't tell Angie. Stole some of her aluminum foil. And all we're gonna do is cover that bag up with aluminum foil and then um, we'll come out here and check on it periodically, but I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm probably gonna leave it alone. I'm not gonna pick at it a bunch. I'm just gonna let it go uh, 30 days and then we'll see how many roots we got. Like I said, this branch is gonna come off anyway because this tree is getting way too tall. So I'm probably gonna do it over here on like two or three other branches that I know are coming off anyway. And I'm gonna see how many we can, uh, air roots from tree starts we can do. And then I'm gonna try another section on a different way. So don't click off yet, we got more to come. We got some of these green shoots right here. Um, and you can tell, obviously, this is new growth. And I got plans for those too. All right. The pots, I filled the pot up with pretty much what came out of the um, um, potatoes that she grew in tubs. Don't tell her that either, because she may want that those. Me one of those back. Then I'm just basically dampening the soil, digging a hole. I'm gonna take these. Maybe. Take these. I'm just gonna scrape them back. Get all the way around like that. And I got some rooting compound. Rooting compound. I know the bottle looks old, but brand new. Like I stored it under my house or something. I don't know. Anyway, I'm just gonna wet the end. Stick the tree down in there in the rooting compound. Swirl it around, shake off the extra, just like that. You wanna make sure you dig a hole though, because otherwise if you just take the three, you're just gonna push the rooting compound off. Bury it down. Just cover it up. Just like so. And I'll probably grab a stick or something and attach it to a stick to kind of help hold it up. And like I said, I'm going to cut those off anyway. Why not try it? You know, it's, it's worth a shot. I mean, don't take that wrong. I usually take all this stuff that we take off these trees and um, I run it through the mulcher that we got, and uh, when I do that, I mean, I'm using it. It's going to the chicken thing, but back on, if I can get five or six trees a year, and this works out, and I can, I don't know, maybe get 20 trees. If I get 20 trees, I mean, obviously, I don't need 20 peach trees, but I can put 20 peach trees out front for sale for 10, 15 over here. And Keep them watered and see how they grow. We'll let you know what happens. Shout out. Thanks, Bulls Garden, for the air rooting tip. And we'll let you know. Thanks for coming in.